going on, guys? It's your boy, Shadow King RPG here. And we're back at it again with another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we went through Mount Moon, facing T Rocket, and we got ourselves a fossil. A Helix fossil. Exactly. And I came to this town, we're about to, in this episode, take on our rival again, a couple more trainers, and take on the second gym leader, Misty. Now, I'll tell you guys, I am so happy to pronounce, finally, finally, I got my Magikarp to evolve into a Gyarados at level 20, and he learned Bite when he hit level 20, so now he has a better moveset, so I'm going to be starting off with him, and I tell you guys, it was a pain. It was only five more levels, and it was a pain. Uh, we got Charmander at level 21. He's still the same. Uh, Pikachu is now level 20 now with Thundershock, Quick Attack, and he learned a new move, Slam. And we got our Nidal King to level 20 also. And he's Peck, uh, Double Kick, Mega Kick, and Focus Energy. So we're going to be starting off with our Gyarados. And we're going to take on our rival and take on other trainers as well. So, and as you guys can see off screen, I got some stuff prepared. I bought some super potions, some potions, a couple of repels. And repel, what repels do is, and when you're in a wild area or a cave, uh, you won't be able to counter any wild Pokemon until 100 steps. Once the 100 steps are up, that's it basically. But yeah, up this will be facing our arrival for the third time, and here we go. Yo, Shadow, you're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I call a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you call, Shadow. With pleasure, Gary. I call three Pokemon. And we both have four Pokemon. So he will have four Pokemon also. It's going to be a Pidgeotto, a Abra, your starter po his starter Pokemon, Squirtle or War Turtle, and I think it's a Rattat, I believe. So level 17 Pidgeotto is probably his second best Pokemon for the time being, but our Gyarados shouldn't have no problem. So, alright, cool. So, second one is the Rattata, yep, alright, and his third is going to be an Abra. His Abra is his weakest Pokemon, because the only thing it's going to have, I think it's just Teleport, so it's pretty worthless. Alright, yeah, Squirtle, so we're going to switch out to Pikachu, because Pikachu is Thunder, and his Squirtle is Water. So we'll use Thundershock, take out the Squirtle. Probably might take two turns, but... With, well, now it might take three turns, but now he boosts up his defense. Oh, he's paralyzed. Wow, perfect. And we'll just use a nice quick attack to finish it off. Nice. And, you know what, just to get Nidal King into a little battle, we'll switch into Nidal King. And Abra's level 16. Yes, Rat's Hat was level 15, but like I said, Abra is his weakest for the time being, but it's only going to have teleport. It's going to be worthless. It's kind of like my magic card. It was pretty worthless. So I know how Gary feels, but we defeat him. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill and got him to show me a rare, his rare, his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokédex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokémon. He invented the Pokémon storage system on PC too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, no, really, you're always falling behind. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Or take a frame checker. All right. 
So now, it, Gyarados is in our first slot. So now we will go through this little bridge, the Nugget Bridge. And basically, we gotta face trainers. And then we'll face some guy that's uh, the Scott, the Team Rocket. He'll ask you to join. Of course, we're gonna decline it. And then once we defeat all that, we will. Once we defeat these trainers, we'll get a nugget. And what a nugget is, is it's you can keep it or you can sell it for a good profit for five thousand bells. So always sell your nugget because they don't do nothing. This five thousand bell is pretty helpful. And you guys want to know a little trick that I know. I don't know if it will work in Pokemon uh, Leaf Green or Fire Red, but I know in the original, like Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green, it works. But once we get all the way up here, Well, I'll tell you that I'll tell you after after I defeat all the trainers. Once I get to the, the guy who disguises the Team Rocket, I'll I'll, I'll just explain everything. I will say when when Magikarp was using Tackle on the enemies, I'll tell you it was pretty weak. But once he evolved into a Gyarados, Tackle does so much damage and it's pretty powerful. I'm not gonna waste my super potion of potions, so if my Pokemon faint, or just gonna faint. But I know I'll get through all this Nugget Bridge and everything else. So, after this guy, you'll reach the guy that's just the sky as a Team Rocket. And here's a little trick to make a little bit more money. Or what people like to use, a little cheat basically. I never done it, but I heard it works really well if you want to have infinite money. So, what you have to do is, like I said... Every time you defeat these five guys, you will get a nugget, and they're they're not you know they're worth a good profit five thousand. So what you like to do is if you head back to the Pokemon Center, deposit all your Pokemon except for one, catch another Pokemon that's super low level, and then deposit your strong one and keep the low level. And once you walk. And once you walk all the way up here, this guy will say, Congratulations, you beat all the five contestant trainers. You earn a fabulous prize. You'll receive a nugget from the guy. And then he'll say, Hey, do you want to join Team Rocket? Then you battle him. So once you have a Pokemon that is super weak, like a level 12 or a 13 in the wild, let the Team Rocket faint your Pokemon. And once he faints your Pokemon, You'll be teleported to the recent Pokemon Center that's just literally down the Nugget Bridge. You head all the way back up, and he'll stop you again, tell you the same dialogue, and he'll give you another Nugget. And you can rinse and repeat this process until you have, like, 99 Nuggets. And then you can sell all those 99 Nuggets to the, the Pokemart, and you'll have, like, a lot of cash. You should have, like, probably, like, a million like, cash, basically. So it's very, very helpful, definitely. If you guys want infinite, me, I'm not gonna use that process, so whatever, 
whatever you guys want to do, it's your choice. Me, uh, you'll definitely get a decent amount of cash in this game. So, you guys shouldn't struggle. If you just play a little smart and definitely level up your Pokemon exactly, and, you know, don't lose a lot, you know, you guys should be really good with cash. But, if you guys want to have more cash, you know, there's a little trick right there. Alright, so we're going to switch to our middle king, because now we're going to face a rock type. So we're going to face all these guys right here, talk to Bill, we'll heal up, and then we're going to be taking on gym leader uh, Misty. And like I said, she is a war type Pokemon, so Pikachu is going to be our best bet. And then if, if somehow our Pikachu faints, we will have middle king as our secondary uh, backup <laughs> because she's only gonna have two Pokemon is Staryu and Starmie and Staryu is pretty easy but once she sends out her Starmie her Starmie is pretty OP I'm not gonna lie like Starmie is a good Pokemon and he's gonna have a move called Water Pulse and it's gonna do some pretty good damage and sometimes it even confuses your Pokemon as well so you even hit yourself so, you know, she definitely has some good Pokemon. But when we get to that, we get to that. Slow pokes would be a little tricky. Uh, let's try and make a kick. <coughs> okay, that just missed. Oh, that was super nice. So there's gonna be an item where a guy is blocking it. <coughs> so you got two choices. I'm probably going to just, just come back until I learn a cut to get that item because sometimes if you don't save correctly or you do save, you know, you'll be in this one area and I'll show you guys right after these trainers, these two trainers. So there's two ways you can do it. And it's a pain if if, if you're not thinking correctly, so that's why I'm going to wait until I learn, uh, until I learn, uh, cut. Thrash is a good move also. Good job, Middle King, for learning Thrash. And actually, I will show you uh, what Thrash does. Thrash is pretty good. So, after this guy, you'll see that trainer right above him, the one with the green suit. And basically, there's going to be a Pokeball right above him. And there's also going to be a tree that, that you use Cut on. So, there's two ways you can do it. You can wait until you learn Cut and then come back to get that Pokeball. Or, you could do this method that mostly a lot of people do it, but sometimes I don't like doing it because... You know, for certain reasons for the game data, save data. If you save in that one area and you turn off your game, and the guy is going to go back to its original spot, and you're stuck in that one spot forever. And the only way you're going to get out of it is to delete your save progress and start all over until you get back to this position again. And it really, really sucks. So, the way to get him over is you come to the spot and you walk right here and I'll pass that uh, green bush right there that means you know you've done it correctly you face him like usual Paint his Ekans real quick, and then I'll show you what I mean. Uh, 
Okay. So, like I said, there's two ways, like that way, you have to use cut right here, we don't have cut, and if you bring him to this one location, like I said, you come right here, turn, he should come right into this spot right here, past the bush, and then you can make your way to the Pokeball. Now, if you were to save right in this spot right here and turn off your game, this trainer right here will come back into this position right here, and you'll be right here, and you're, you're stuck in this one little path right here always. And the only way to get out of it is to delete your save progress and start all over. So it really sucks. Definitely play smart. You know, bring him to this position right here past this green bush. Or just wait until you learn cut. Alright, so there's going to be two more trainers right here. And then we should talk to Bill. And then face uh, Misty and then head to the third area. And I think I will defeat the other trainers as well. And I'm probably going to also get the bike ticket and show you guys the bike as well. So you guys know how to obtain a bike. Because the bike makes you go a little bit more quicker than the running shoes. And I prefer the bike than the running shoes. Definitely. So we're almost done. So that's good. Pidgey. So my Nidal King should uh, stay alive, hopefully, in this battle. Okay, yeah, it's an eye. Perfect. Actually, I could be wrong. I think once you beat the Nugget Bit Bridge. I think the guard might come past, so maybe I will get the pass. But here's Bill. He transformed into a Pokemon, but hey, there was a skeptical look. I'm not Joshy, pal. I scripted my experience and got a combined combination with a Pokemon. So how about it? Will you help me out? Wait till I get into the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell system. So yeah, he turns into a Pokemon because something messed up. And you go to a Pokemon, click the button to his PC, and then he should transfer him back into original Bill. And you talk to him, he'll say, Yay, thanks, but I owe you this one. So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I got thank you. Here, maybe this will help. So he should give you an SS ticket. And what the SS ticket is, you need to go onto a ship, but you need an SS ticket to aboard a ship. Once you get to the ship, you will learn cut by the captain. And you'll face your rival also. So we can head all the way in this corner right here to get past this. So make sure you definitely talk to Bill because you know you will not because you need to go to the SS I mean you need to go to the ship to definitely get the SS ticket. I mean you need to get the SS ticket to get aboard the ship because to face third gym leader you need cut. And basically you know to get cut you need a board ship. So this is what we're gonna do before we face the second, the second uh, gym leader, Misty. We're just gonna face this team rocket, face the other trainers as well, get the ticket so we can get the bike, and then, and then we'll come back here and face the second gym leader, Misty, and then head back to the third time. It should be a little bit more quicker instead of just facing the trainers once we get done with this. <laughs> so hopefully everything goes well my Gyarados should be level 23 my Pikachu should be level 22 23 and then Pikachu shouldn't have no problem to face an Astarmie huh wait I think Gyarados the TM I found in Mount Moon. Wasn't it a uh, water pulse? No, okay. Alright, so yeah. Head over here. Don't head to the down here. 
then we'll jump back into the beginning again. So head all the way down here. This, you have to go all the way up here, go all the way down to the brown stuff, and you'll see this little house right here. That's a daycare. You can put your Pokemon and spend money to let the Pokemon level up. We'll go into this underground path right here where we'll head to the third area. In certain, certain spots right here, you'll find items. I don't know where the items are located, so if you want to find those rare, uh, secret items, then, you know, I guess you guys got to look it up. So we'll be in Route 6. Here's a couple of trainers that we'll have to face later on, but we're just going to face them now just to get it done and over with. And then we will go to the... Uh, We'll go to the area to get the bike pass and get the bike face Misty and come back here and we're going to call it a video. And then in the next episode, we will probably go onto the boat, probably go onto the boat and maybe face a couple other trainers on the other far side of the right. But let's get through these trainers. I think one of these trainers has a Squirtle, yep, and the other one I think has a Pikachu, I believe? <laughs> wow, Tackle did more damage than Bite. <laughs> so, I, I don't know what level, but I think Gyarados pretty soon should learn uh, a Water Move. If not, definitely once we uh, learn Surf, you know, definitely I'm going to equip that to our Gyarados because Surf is going to come in handy. I really enjoy using Surf in, in these kind of games. So these next uh, two trainers have come out. I mean, there's three more trainers left. But in these next two trainers right here, the next one we're facing right now is going to have a Butterfree. And it's going to be a, a little challenging, but, you know, if you're a good high level, you know, you shouldn't have any problem. But this guy right here is going to have a Butterfree. It's going to be his only Pokemon. So he's going to have a Psychic move called Confusion. So be a little aware, he will also paral uh, not paralyze you, uh, confuse you, so I don't think my Gyarados will hit level, will hit level, uh, 23, because now he's confused and paralyzed. <laughs> Do this bug for you, I tell ya. Oh my god, just one more hit, please. Alright, Gyarados. That actually came a big clutch. So now my Gyarados is level 23. <laughs> So there's two more trainers left. One of these trainers down here is going to have a Raticate. Raticate is going to be a little challenging, like I said, but if you're a high enough level, you shouldn't have no problem. And ain't this person right here is the very last one that's going to have a Raticate. So now we're going to switch into our Pikachu, get him some level ups. I think he's only going to get to level 22, but that's no big problem. At least he grew a level by this whole battle.
HK. Now here's the guy, like I said, this one has the Braticate. He's gonna have two. Uh, one is Spiro, and the other one, like I said, Eradicate. And I think the Eradicate is level 20, I believe. No, 16. So the Eradicate definitely has some good movesets, but luckily he's not attacking me right now. Alright, so let's heal up real quick. <laughs> And let's head to this area. I think it's. We it's this blue house right here. And this house is called the Pokemon Fan Club. So head into the Pokemon Fan Club. Talk to the guy with the brown suit with the brown hat. He'll say, "The chair of the Pokemon Fan Club. I raised more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fuss fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So you come to hear about my Pokemon." So you hit yes. He'll say, okay, good, listen up. He'll write, a he'll write on about his story, about his Pokemon, why he loves Pokemon so much. And I said, well, he said, thank you so much for listening to my story. He'll give you a bike vulture. And what this bike vulture does, it, it's a pass that you're able to get a bike. So let's head all the way back up. Uh, I'm going to get into one or two more battles. So Pikachu can uh, throw to 22. Right. Cool, so now we defeat all these trainers now. Now we have Gym Leader Misty, so... I do it this way, so I don't have to face these guys later on when I have to come back here after we're done beating Misty. So let's head back all the way to on the underground path again. Head back upstairs. And like I said, go to the path, the opposite pathway like we, before we came down here. We go to the brown side right here. Jump off, and we're back. So I'm going to heal up one more time. And we will take on Jim Little Misty. Pikachu. Uh, yeah, Pikachu is our starter. So, like I said, if you have a Grass type or a Thunder type Pokemon, you know, this gym should be pretty decent. You should be able to be fine. But, you know, definitely be a good level. I would recommend at least level 20 or higher. Maybe 18 or 19, maybe the low, lowest if you really wanted to. But I could place it to be a little bit higher. So this uh, Misty's area has two trainers. This guy right here, there's another girl that only has, I think, one Pokemon. But like I said, I have Pikachu with me. So it's going to be a straightforward battle for these two trainers right here. And after this, we'll face Misty. She has two Pokemon, like I said, Starmie and Staryu. Staryu will be first, and then Starmie's her second Pokemon. Staryu is a level 19, I believe, to level 20. And a Starmie is level 20, 21, or 22. One of those levels. Hi, you're a new face. Only these trainers who have policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is all out offense with war type Pokemon. So here we go. Our second gym leader, gym leader Misty. She has two Pokemon, like I've been saying. It's a star you first, level 18. So no problem, like I said, star you, star you is gonna be an easy type. Pretty straightforward for star you. Oh, you know what? That's actually real good. I actually let Misty waste her super potion. I forgot to actually remind that. She will heal up a Pokemon. So this, gym, or this will be the first gym leader that knows how to heal her Pokemon. And then Starmie. And here comes the Beast, as we know. <laughs> and like I said, here's the move, Water Pulse. You could get confused. 
and just look at the damage that it already done to my Pikachu. Swift. Darn. Alright. So, like I said, Middle King is probably my second best bet. So, let's use a uh, double kick. Okay. Wow. Well, maybe... Maybe Gyarados is probably my best bet. I... I did not know. I didn't know Water Flip was super effective. Okay. Okay, so... Our Gyarados is definitely gonna win this. It, oh my god, that's super effective. I didn't even know Bite was super effective. But cool. Starmie's down. Player defeat Gym Leader Misty. Wow, you're amazing. And now we got our second gym badge. So we are six away to head to the Pokemon League. So let's check this bad boy out, shall we? And there it is, guys, our second gym badge. Pretty good. So we have six more to go. So now let's heal ups again. And now I will show you how to get fight. But like I said, we head to the third area, and we got the bike ticket. And you head to this area that has all the bikes advertised outside. You head inside, talk to this guy right here. He'll say, oh, that's the bike vulture. Okay, here you go. And then you exchange that thing for a bike. So now you have a bike. So let's uh, equip it so we can always use it. So hit bike on your thing, hit register, and it'll have a thing that says uh, SAL for select. But I think for my keyboard, it's going to be Q. And there we go. Now we got a bike. Okay, so let's head all the way back to Route 5, head back to the underground path into Route 6, and then I will show you guys what I will be doing for the next episode. You're allowed to ride your bike through the underground path so you guys don't have to walk. If you didn't face all these trainers, you'll be facing one, two, three, four, five, six trainers. So, we're in Vermont City. So, like I said, you need to go to the ship to give him the SS ticket to get cut so you can use cut to face the third gym leader. So, what I'm going to do is next episode, we will... Oh, and this cave right here is called Diglett's Cave. So, if you wanted to train your Pokemon up, it's only going to have Diglett. Sometimes they'll treat those, but they're pretty rare. So I'll probably do a little bit of my training there. So in the next battle, I'll take this Pokeball Awakening. I'll face all these trainers right here. I'll probably be training in the Diglett Cave. So I'll face all those trainers right there. And then I'll head into the SS uh, ship ticket. Uh, you got to talk to this guy all the way that down. He'll say the only way you can aboard is the SS ticket. And we have the SS ticket. If you guys don't have the SS ticket, where you get the SS ticket is... You head back to Misty's area, the gym leader Misty. Head all the way up to the Nugget Bridge. Go all the way over to the far right, and you'll see a big house. That's Bill's house. Talk to Bill, and he will give you the SS ticket. So yeah, that's what we're going to do for the next episode. Is face all those trainers on the far right over there, and go into the ship, and take on the ship. Learn Cut, and in the, probably in the following episode, we'll take on the third gym. So that's going to be it for you guys for this video. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And like always, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.